Thank you, Mr. President. Civicus and his partners in South Sudan thank the Commission on Human Rights in South Sudan for their crucial contribution to the protection and promotion of human rights in the country. Its mandate remains crucial. There is no improvement in the human rights situation in the country as authorities continue with impunity, repressions against peaceful protesters, harassment of civil society actors and extrajudicial executions. Social and economic rights are dire and embezzlement of public funds fuels violations of these rights. Impunity and high levels of violence persist. Such violence continues to affect innocent civilians, threatens the country's stability and endangers prospects for lasting peace. Civic space is closed. Authorities continue to harass, detain and clamp down on journalists, human rights defenders, activists and persons perceived to be opposing the government. This materializes as, amongst others, censoring media, suspension and closure of news outlets, seizure of newspapers, blocking of access to information, revocation or denial of accreditation of foreign correspondents, arbitrary arrest and prolonged detention of persons allegedly responsible for critical posts on social media. The government has committed to the implementation of the revitalized peace agreement. However, However, key elements of the agreement, including relating to transitional justice, remain unimplemented. In this climate, it is vital that the Council renews the mandate of the Commission. We call on the Council to do so while asking the Commission what member states must do to ensure that its recommendations are implemented by South Sudan. We thank you.